touch me, Lord Jesus. church not from God. It comes from hypocritical preachers who refuse to preach the truth of God's word. Church is not a place to win friends and influence people. Church of God is a saving station to save someone from their sins and put them on a highway that leads to heavenly places forever. Bible says, old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. But there has to be a change within the individual to cause that person to come into an area where he's acceptable in the sight of God. This foolishness that's being taught today in the secular churches, that what Jesus did at Calvary covers all your sins and you still can drink liquor, smoke cigarettes, Mm -hmm. fornicate, and do whatever you want to do. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Church is to get a person right for heaven by the proper instructions, rightly dividing the word of truth so a person can comply 
by their own decision. God does not make a person get saved. And the devil don't make you sin. Right. The devil is there to entice you. But the individual commitment to do right or to do wrong rests with the individual. But churches to try to give a person an inference into how God would have them live that life. Yes. Which is called holiness. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. No man. And holiness used to be taught in every church years ago. Back in the 20s and 30s, holiness was taught in every church. But the division came when people decided to live their own way and still serve God. But see, the Bible is not made for you to change the word. The Bible is made to change you, not for you to change the word. So if the Bible says thus and so, then you've got to follow thus and so. Even though you may not like it, but you know, uh, listen, medicine is not always tasting good, but it's good for you. If you take a notion to want to change your life, then the Bible is there to give you the proper instructions. But if the preacher is afraid to preach the truth because uh, you might not come back, well, thank God. If you decide not to come back, it's because you're not interested in the truth. Amen. And you're not interested because you don't believe the Bible. Amen. But it's not biblical. Don't, don't tell me about it if it's not Bible. Amen. Amen. Everything has to be based on the Bible. If thus saith the Lord, I got to do it. Amen. If I don't want to do it, then I don't want to go to God's heaven. But if I make up my mind that I'm going to discipline myself, get away with them cigarettes. Get away from that liquor bottle. Amen. Get away from that six pack. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And I've got to stop seeing Sally Sue Amen. when my wife is at home. Hallelujah. See, it, it's all about discipline. It's all about what you want to do with your life. I said, give me uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. Yes. Now I beseech you, brethren. I beseech you, church. By the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. That ye all speak the same thing. Now, wait a minute. Why do some baptize Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? And all, some baptize in the name of Jesus. Why do some believe that there are three gods in heaven and some believe there's only one God in heaven? Amen. Again, you've got to go right back to the Bible. Yeah. The Bible never told you there were three gods in heaven. Nope. All that proof has come from the church that was established at the Council of Nicaea, yeah. 325, the Roman Catholic Church. Yeah. Yes. Fed down through the Baptist, Methodist, and Episcopal Church, all the other Trinitarian churches, Amen. except the one church uh -huh. that is established in the Book of Acts, and that's the Pentecostal Church. Amen. Repent and baptize every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Holy Ghost is a promise from God for a person who is trying to live his life right yes. in the sight of God. So all this Trinity, all this so-called Christmas, Easter, where did it come from? Come from the Catholic Church. Yes. Didn't come from no Pentecost Church. Amen. Why isn't Christmas in the Bible? <laughs> because it's not in the Bible. Amen. That's why it's not in the Bible. Amen. Why is not Easter? They just celebrated Easter a few weeks ago. Uh -huh. yeah. Easter's a sin. That's right. yes. It's a pagan festival. Yeah. How is it proved? By the egg. That's right, yes. You can't find Easter egg nowhere in the Bible. Amen. And you can't find Easter in the Bible. You can't find bunny rabbit in the Bible. Yes. Easter basket, you can't find it in the Bible. Amen. It comes from man's interpretation. to try to create an environment and a festival that they like and they want to participate in and not what God wants them to participate in. If it's not, again, of God, you can't do it. Amen. So we thank God again for the knowledge that has come to us and for the discipline God has given us to want to follow holiness yes. and the Bible. It's not about being popular. It's not about the crowd. Amen. It's about the individual commitment within their soul. I said individual. Right. Amen. See, I don't care if mama want to go, daddy want to go, husband want to go, wife want to go, or don't want to go. <laughs> you got to make up your own mind. You're going to go to church for your soul salvation Amen. to serve God in the beauty of holiness. Amen. And if it means giving up this, that, and the other, then I got to give it up if the Bible tells me to. 
So, brothers and sisters, the Bible says we ought to speak the same thing, that there be no divisions amongst us. The divided church does not come from God. Amen. The divided church comes from people who want to divide God and his churches. We all, we all going to the same heaven. No, that's not true. Hallelujah. All of us that have an intention of serving God according to the Bible are going to God's heaven. And nobody in disobedience to the instruction recorded is going to heaven. Yes. So I just want to thank God for the few words that I want to share with some of you and hope that you are not offended. But as I said when I opened up, church is not to make friends. Amen. Amen. Church is to get you right. Amen. And when I first heard the gospel message, I was raised up in the false church all my life. When I first heard it, I said, mm -mm, no, not for me. But when I found out where that church was, heard over the radio, when I found out where it was, I went there. And when the preacher began to teach me the things that are of God by the Bible, I went home to my wife and said, I can't go back to that church no more. Amen. But when the doors opened, I was right back. Amen. Because something about the truth I craved. Don't lie to me, preacher. Tell me what I must do to enter the kingdom of heaven. Don't lie to me. Amen. Tell me the truth. If it hurts me, tell me the truth anyhow. Amen. But thank God I had enough self-discipline to hear the truth, even though I didn't like it, even though it hurt me. But it had to take out all that foolishness in me. All that pride got to go. Yes. And then you've got to let the Spirit of God come in. And the Spirit of God will make you, or I would say compel you, to serve him and do what's right in the sight of God in them habits, you'll find them going away. Amen. And once they go away, they'll never come back. Amen. Unless you invite them back. Amen. Hallelujah. But thank God. When I gave up gambling, smoking, and drinking, well, I didn't have no problem with drinking. Amen. But I loved cigars and chewing tobacco. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I loved the poker game. <laughs> Even when I was broke. Stay there watching the cards turn. Uh, Fascinated, hypnotized by them cards turn. Uh, amen. When I gave it up, I gave it up. Oh. The last thing I gave up was that lottery. Oh my goodness. Twenty million dollars for a dollar. Oh my goodness, who gonna resist that? I sneak way across town in Detroit, buy me a lottery ticket. Just mm. a dollar. Lord, if you let me hit, I give you half. God don't want half. God wants your soul. Amen. And that last lawyer ticket I got, it wouldn't even, I, I didn't even know whether I hit or not. I just held out the window and watched it. I turned it loose. I said, goodbye, gambling. I'm through with you. Amen. And never bought another lottery ticket. Amen. Never went to another poker game. Amen. And never wanted to. Amen. I want to serve God. Yes. And here I am later. 91 years old. Amen. Six heart attacks. Diabetes healed, Man. 1972, the Veterans Hospital. High blood pressure healed, Man. hallelujah. Prostate cancer healed, oh, oh. scheduled for surgery, 1995, March the 30th. Man. Never went to the hospital. Oh. Here I am today, oh. still serving and praising God. Man. Because God has been good to me. And God will be good to you if you trust Him. Man. If you learn self-control, yeah. okay. if you learn self-discipline, God will bless you, church. But first, you got to know about him. The only way you can know about him is go to a church that's going to teach you the truth. Yeah. Even though it may hurt sometimes. You might flinch, say ouch, whatever. But still keep coming back to the church. Yeah. Therein is your victory. Outside that door, nothing but death and destruction. If y'all watch the news, mm -hmm. you're getting ready to do a big time warfare over there in the Middle East. Yeah. But God already predicted that. Had an earthquake up in uh, New Jersey. I shared that the other night. Spread all the way to New York. God said, by these signs, you know the end is coming. That's right. Earthquake in diverse places. Wars and rumors of wars. Yes. Time is winding down quick and people don't even know and don't even pay attention. Look how the system is. You work from paycheck to paycheck. Yes. What if one of the spouses get, get sick and can't go to work? Amen. They don't care. They'll put you out. They'll put you out in the street. Well, I got two or three kids. They don't care. Amen. Government don't care. System don't care. And they got this system set up so you work from paycheck to paycheck. Yes. They will never let you get ahead. Uh -huh. And charge rent whatever they want to charge. Yep. Well, I can't afford to pay that kind of rent. Get you a tent out there in the yard somewhere. Yep. 
They don't care about you. But God cares about you. That's why we're in church today. And God will never let you down as long as you don't let God down. Hear me somebody. I don't care how bad things get. God will never see you hungry. And God will never see you streaking out, out in the street. God will be faithful to you. But he, be faithful to God. So I thank God now we're getting ready to uh, help. I think we'll have the water baptism first and then the marriage ceremony, amen, yeah. in, that, in that order. Uh, the sister who's ready to be water baptized, uh, some of the sisters now go back and assist her in water baptism. Yeah. I yeah. surrender all. Oh, I surrender all. God is talking to someone tonight. And you will never be the same when you meet here.
Oh, center. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord, I thank you.
speak now or forever hold your peace. Uh, Brother Andrew, do you take this sister to be your lovely wedded wife and cherish and uphold forever to your heart? I do. Sister, uh, do you take this brother to be your lovely wedded husband to cherish and to uh, all the appointed time on this earth? to obey all the statutes of God and to keep yourself in compliance with the rules of God so long as you shall live. Thank you. Oh, join hands. Amen. By the authority invested in me, I do commend this uh, union to God. They are now married and sanctified in the church of God. Amen. And that God will have mercy upon them and be a blessing to them all their appointed time on this earth. natural father, your natural mother, your natural relationship, but your family in the blood of Jesus. Yes. Cover yourselves according. Amen. 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 Amen.